guys, welcome back to some more American Truck Simulator. I am Moose78, and this is my ATS Let's Play series, Stories from the Road. Upload this every Tuesday and Thursday. Hope you guys are doing well today, by the way. We, of course, are still in the Western Star 4900 FA. Continuing our trip up to Carson City with this container of machine parts. And hope you guys are enjoying the Utility 3000R. Sorry for the inconvenience uh, when I first got the link up. I know a couple people had some issues, but uh, we got all that ironed out, and we are good to go with that. So hope you guys are enjoying that. Let's go ahead and hop in here and get started and continue up to Carson City. out here in the exterior view for just a second. And turn the floor is on to not get stop traffic. Oh, or is it? out there anyway. Still, I don't know why that is still not wanting to go high, low. I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. Like I said in the last couple episodes, that's the only thing that I've had issues with with the SKRS shifter. It's just kind of frustrating. First few times I used it, had no issues. Now, for whatever reason, it's uh, just being a little bit buggy. Seems a little bit on the heavy side today. Just leave it eight low. Not a huge deal. Got our 
crew set there. This is a contracted run, so of course our speed is limited to 65. That's okay. Say we're about half a tank. What the hell is this car doing? First they got in the left-hand lane, then they jump back over in the right-hand lane, then they jump back in the left-hand lane. Now they're hitting the brakes. been playing a lot of the Battlefield 1 open beta here lately, at least uh, you know, while I'm recording this video, I've been playing a lot of the Battlefield 1 open beta, recording this the Friday before Labor Day. Trying to get back on track of uh, having a bunch of content kind of in the queue, that way if something comes up I don't miss a upload or anything like that. But yeah, I've been enjoying that quite a bit. We're still playing this a couple times a week. And just kind of uh, sitting back and waiting for the rescale. I imagine that's still going to be several months out. They've still not updated uh, much on the rescale as to what's going on with that. They did. I was going to do this for a uh, Wednesday video, but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll talk about it here today, I guess. Coming up on Tona Bob. Slow down here first. Tricky, tricky AI. But, uh, you know, going back to the rescale thing there, not a whole lot of news on that here lately, so that's why I've not really done a whole lot of news videos about that. But they did release uh, something, some more interior stuff. And uh, they now we have uh, the steering wheel knobs, or as they are affectionately called, the suicide and that's you know that's one of those things where you know mileage is going to vary with it not everyone's going to like it not everyone's going to use it you know some people are going to love it some people are going to hate it but uh really got me thinking It'd be kind of nice well kind of what i was going to talk about in the video that i was going to do but uh some stuff came up didn't get a chance to do it for my wednesday uh, kind of news style of video but what i was going to talk about was and the kind of one thing I'd like to see SCS support a little bit more, and that's uh, the trailers in game. And I guess what I mean by support that is most of the games or all the games that I've played, they've not really 
done a whole lot with the stock trailers. You know, this by far is the best game they've done so far. And especially, you know, considered uh, concerning the trailers anyway. place to miss gears but uh, I think that's one area that they really really leaned on the community a little too much and that is for you know mod support for trailers it'd be nice to see them you know as they continue to add things into the game and eventually hopefully add some more trucks in the game it'd be nice to see them go back and add some you know new trailers into the game as well Really nice if that thing would go into freaking high gear. But I digress. You know, you look at a lot of the trailers that, you know, are used in the game and by the community, you know, 99% of it is, you know, they're modded trailers. You know, a lot of reefer trailers out there, just plain old dry van trailers, flatbeds. And that's kind of one area that I'd really like to see SCS step up their game is get some, you know, trailers like that, more trailers like that in game, like the flatbed style of trailers. And not rely so heavily on the community to uh, produce that content for the game. Maybe they're working on something that we don't know about in that regard, but, you know, unfortunately, I kind of highly doubt it. That's kind of disappointing. Not really sure what I can do on my end to fix that. But I don't know, maybe they'll, you know, prove me wrong and, you know, somewhere down the road they'll release a trailer pack or something like that. You know, not that I would necessarily use it that much myself. But, you know, there's, you know, some people out there that don't have a high-end, you know, super PC, whatever, that, uh, you know, could use the stuff that SCS uses and, you know, be able to run their game pretty well. Or there's some people out there that do just like to run a vanilla game with no mods and stuff like that, so it'd be kind of nice for them as well. that screenshot for the thumbnail, you know? I can't believe summer's winding down, though. It's kind of crazy. I think that uh, September's here. Football season is upon us. 
pretty excited about that, but uh, always sad to see summer go. Means cold temperatures aren't too far off, and the dreaded S word, the old snow. Definitely not ready for that stuff. You know, growing up as a kid, winter was, you know, pretty fun. Always look forward to snow days, things like that. But, you know, now that I'm a little bit older, uh, yeah, not so much. Not so much. Could definitely, uh, I think I could definitely handle living in a warmer climate year-round. You know, nothing super crazy, but, you know, some place doesn't get a lot of snow and a lot of, you know, 10, 15, 20 degree days. I can handle that okay, I think. Looks like the destination is not too far off. That means we're rolling up on Carson City. Better get the headlights on there, I guess. Getting a little bit dark. Ah, guess we better get on the road because, you know, reasons. Stop just a bit short there. I think I need to go back and kind of tweak my uh, brakes and all that again. So I don't see anything coming forever, so we'll go ahead and get going here. They want this thing parked at. Looks like, looks like just over there on the right, so we'll give that a go. Doesn't seem too bad at all. Of course, I say that from here, and we'll take it up here. It'll probably be like crazy impossible or something, no my luck. Too bad at all. And if I can't do this on the first try, then shoot. I could take delivering to places like this all day long. I turned off the reverse beeper because that thing drives me nuts. Like I've said before, I can take the easiest task and make it more challenging than you'll ever know. Maybe I wasn't as far off as I thought I was. 
That's okay. Late. Oh, it was a contracted run and I have not played for a few days, so that's why that was late, but... Right, guys, I think that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. A little bit short. I want to hop off here real quick before I start recording the next episode and fiddle around with the uh, SKRS and hopefully get all that sorted out. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching and supporting. It is greatly appreciated. We are closing in on 500 subscribers. We're just a little over 30 away, at least as of the recording of this video. So thank you guys so much for that. Greatly appreciate that. And if you like today's video, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, for now, I'm going to cut on out of here. To the next video, stay safe out there. Take care, and we'll be seeing you. And we'll be. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, follow the link down in the video description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, then be sure to check out my No Scope Gaming Glasses affiliate link, also down in the video description. And lastly, I upload three days a week, so be sure to check down below for my various content playlists for any videos you may have missed. Until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.